Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be starting a new series on how to code your own Discord bot. And this will include many different commands for your server, including server info commands as well as user info and also ping and many more. So we're going to start off in your web browser. You're going to want to go and search up Node.js and you're going to click the very first link. And if you don't have this installed already, you're going to hit this very first bar right on the on the left. And it says 14.15.2 LTS. If it's a different version, it's fine. But you're going to want to hit that button and you're just going to follow the prompt. And then once you do that, you're going to want to go into your file explorer and head over to your desktop where you're going to make a new folder and call it whatever you want to call your bot. So I'm going to name mine Cypress Bot. And then you're going to head over to your search bar on the bottom of the screen and search up CMD and open your command prompt. Then you're going to type up CD desktop to get into your desktop. Then you're going to type in CD and then whatever your bot name is. So mine is Cypress Bot, so it's going to be that. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and do NMP init. This will start your package.json so you're going to just go ahead and hit enter and version can stay the same at 1.0.0 description can stay blank entry point if you want to change this to main.js you can do that or leave it at index.js which is what I'm going to do you can leave these next three blank and then for author you can put your name if you want people to know uh, who made your bot otherwise I'm just going to keep it blank and then license we're going to keep it ISC if you are fine with the information it points out, then you can hit yes. And then we're going to go ahead and type out code dot. This will open your Visual Studio Code. And remember, if you did not install Visual Studio Code before, you're just going to want to search up Visual Studio Code. I will also leave this link in the description. And it will be your the very first link. And then you're just going to want to follow the prompts once you click this middle blue button called Download for Windows. So once you open your Visual Studio Code, we can leave that alone for now. You're going to head over to a new link, discord.com slash developer slash applications, and you're going to want to sign into your Discord, and then you're going to want to create a new application and name it whatever your bot is or something else if you want. The bot, that's not going to be the bot name. You're going to head over to the bot tab on the, on the left, and then you're going to hit add bot, and then you're going to say yes, do it, and then... You can create a logo for your bot, or you can leave it blank. As you can see, there's a token right here. We will need that in the future. And then you're going to head over to general information again. Copy this client ID, and then you're going to head over to another link called discordapi.com slash permissions.html. You're going to go ahead and click whatever permissions you want your bot to have, and then paste your client ID down here. You're going to go ahead and click on this link, which will authorize your bot to join your server you're going to click whatever server you want it to join authorize that do the captcha as you can see the bot is now in the server and it is not online because we have not done any code to turn it online so we're going to head back into our visual studio code and you're going to create a new file called index.js and you're also going to create another file called config.json so in config.json, we're going to go ahead and define token and prefix. And then we're going to head back over to our Discord developer portal, where you're going to go into the bot tab again, and then you're going to see your token. You're just going to hit copy, and then you're going to do double quotation marks and paste it right there. Then make sure you do a comma right after that token, and then you're going to go ahead and do prefix. And then we're going to just say my prefix is going to be dollar sign, and then we're going to do save with control S. We're going to head back into index.js and we're going to start coding our bot so that we can turn it on. We're going to start off by defining discord as requiring discord.js and then we're going to go ahead and define client as new discord.client. Then we're also going to define config as requiring config.json. And then we're going to go down a couple lines and we're going to do client.login and then you're going to paste your, your token there again. And this is what is going to turn on your bot. But for now we need to give it a status. So we're going to go ahead and do client.on and then ready async. And then we're going to go ahead and say that we are going to log the client is ready to the console. And then we're going to go ahead and set our activity. 
and I will be setting the activity as help, which will be the help command for my bot, and then I'm going to say watching Cyprus, and then you're going to put a comma, and then you're going to put type, and then you can either put plain, watching, or streaming. I'm going to go ahead and put plain, and then make sure that you end the line of code with a semicolon, and then we're going to go ahead and start making our ping command, so I'm just going to keep this organized and say ping command right there, and then we're going to do client.on message, and then message and then we're going to say const prefix is equal to dollar sign again just to be safe and we're going to say args is equal to message dot content dot slice and then we're going to say prefix dot length and then trim and then split and we're just going to do this and then we can end that right there and then we're going to say command is equal to args dot shift and then to locale lowercase and then we're gonna go ahead and create the command so we're just gonna create an if statement and we're gonna say if the command is equal to ping then message dot delete so this will delete the command message that they send and then we're gonna say message dot channel dot send and then we're going to say what we want to say so we're going to say pawn and then we're going to say to get the actual ping we're going to say client dot ws dot ping to fixed and then we're going to say two and then we're going to put a space right there and put ms and then you can go ahead and end it right there and then we're going to go ahead and make a say command and then we can go ahead and test it. So we're just going to say client.on message. And then we're going to say message. And then we're going to define our prefix yet again, because I like to be safe just in case. We're going to say args is equal to message.content.slice prefix.length. I like putting most of these, since we're not using a command handler, I like using most of these in, this, in each of the commands I find not using a command handler easier just because I don't really care about organization as much and it's not really that hard for me to understand where all the commands are so we're gonna go ahead and define command again so we're gonna say args.shift you can also just copy and paste these but I'm just typing them all out and then we're gonna end it right there and then we are gonna create our if statement yet again the layout for all these commands is basically the same. We're just going to say say again, and then we're going to say message.delete to delete the original message that they send to get the command. And then we're going to say message.channel.send message.content.slice4. And then we're doing 4 to get rid of the dollar sign say, so it sends everything except the command. And then we can just go ahead and end it right there. And then to test our bot, make sure you save. And then you're going to go ahead and go into terminal, new terminal. And then it'll set up. And then you can go ahead and do control C to make this pop up. And then you can go ahead and do node dot and make sure that it's working. As you can see, the client is now ready. You can go ahead and see that, yes, the bot is online. And you can see that it is playing a game and this is our status that we made and we can go ahead and test out the commands so we got ping there you go pawn and then we can go ahead and say hello and there you go both of the commands work so after that we're just gonna make one more command for today and we're gonna make a avatar command and we're just gonna go on and say client.on message same layout as before make sure the comma is afterwards and we're just gonna say const prefix is equal to dollar sign again const args is equal to message dot content dot slice prefix dot length dot trim dot split and we're just going to do this okay and then you can end it there and we're going to do const command is equal to args dot shift 
dot to locale lowercase. You can go ahead and just copy and paste it. Make sure you don't make any errors in your spelling, otherwise you will get output error messages. And then we're going to go ahead and say let member is equal to message dot mentions dot users dot first. And then we're going to say or message dot author. And then we can go ahead and say let avatar equal member dot display avatar URL and then we can say dynamic true and then size 1024 this will make it so that gifs will pop up when you do this command if you do not do the dynamic true it will be defaulted to false and the and then gifs will not pop up in the avatar command and then we just made the size 1024 you can make that smaller or bigger however you want and we're gonna, then we're going to go ahead and say if the command is equal to av you can make this anything you want but i prefer av we're going to go ahead and do message.delete to delete the message i'm going to say and then we're going to create an embed so we're going to say const embed is equal to new discord dot message embed and yes this is v12 because it used to be rich embed but now it's message embed we're going to say set title and we're just going to put make sure you do the dollar sign before so that we can call it say member dot username and then we're just going to put avatar right there and then we're going to say set image avatar since we defined this earlier should be called yep as you can see it's not a darker shade of blue so it is called right there and then you can say set footer requested by message dot author dot tag you can change this however you want i prefer this to just say who made the command so that people can't spam the message and we're going to set the color to random this is how you do random colors you can also just make this any color that you want you need to remember if you do a color that you want you're going to have to put 0x and then paste whatever the uh, hex code is and then we're going to go ahead and just say message.channel.send to actually send the embed. And then we're just going to end it there. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to do node dot to update the bot. As you can see, client is ready. And we're just going to say AV. And there you go. It will default to your own avatar if you just say AV. And if you ping someone, it will show up as their avatar. So that's going to do it for part one of how to code your own Discord bot. In the next part, we're going to be going over some server info commands, as well as user info, and some more fun commands. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a great day.